They are so bad and in the worst spots, I'm literally walking like I have a fucking stick up my ass. Where the lights are low and the dreamers are chasing. I wanna live like we don't know much, but we know we're gonna make it. And I don't wanna spend another Alright, so I got a lot of comments on yesterday's Road to Dark Matter video that I don't have to do DLC weapons to get Dark Matter. Again, your dumbass friend Ali had no idea that was a thing. So apparently I'm missing a weapon and um, I'm not quite sure which one. Fuck. The next Dark Matter video, I'll do this one and one other one and maybe a third. Someone said they like the length of the two weapon Road to Dark Matters and if I added a three, it might be too long. So I'll see how that goes. But I need to do this weapon. That's my last one for, you, for the assault rifles in case you're wondering. But I need to freaking tell you guys something, okay? I should be on my way to the lake right now, but I decided that I need to make a video. I, like, I obviously don't need to, but I feel like I have to. My channel has been doing so freaking good, I don't want to leave it hanging in. <laughs> That's probably like the worst feeling ever when you're doing good and you have to step away for a day and I don't have to step away. I have the time right now to make a video even though I kind of don't and Nathan wants to go to the lake. So, <laughs> as you guys know, I went to K-Days yesterday and if I sound like shit, I kind of feel like shit. I'm a little bit sunburnt and I feel really puffy for some reason. I was in the sun for way too long yesterday. I didn't have enough water and... You know, it was a really fucking hot day. It was only 26 degrees Celsius, but for some reason it felt like 40 or something. Given this into consideration, I'm never outside from 7 a.m. till about 1 a.m. ever. Especially with the heat like that, I was outside all freaking day walking around. It was honestly at some points unbearable. I was wearing a black t-shirt and black jeans too, so my dumb ass again didn't think really well there the weather report said it was supposed to be cloudy and when we got there there was not one single fucking cloud in the sky so needless to say i was tempted to buy some you know shorts but that never happened nathan's like no 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 ally it'll it'll get cloudy don't worry it honestly didn't get cloudy until the sun went down that's besides the point it was a great day i had a fun time despite me sweating into a puddle and feeling like shit today <laughs> but another thing Thing I want to mention is that I got the fucking nastiest beyond nastiest blisters on my feet right now they are so bad and in the worst spots I'm literally walking like I have a fucking stick up my ass I've never in my life got blisters where I have blisters right now I don't like showing my feet because I hate feet but I have one on my heel and then one right here on the ball of my foot and you kind of need your heel to step on and then you roll off the ball of your foot and when you have two ginormous blisters in both of those areas you walk like a fucking dumb shit it's not a pretty sight and i'll probably wear crocs all day yes you heard that correctly i will be wearing crocs today they're comfy as shit my feet hurt and i feel like i deserve that <laughs> In this video, I want to give a huge fucking shout out to Nathan because he got me home safe because I was beyond tired. I was running on four hours sleep of the day and he most likely drives everywhere that we go when it's outside of this small city where we actually live because I'm not a very confident driver in busy cities and just a confident driver in general. So he does that for me and he drives when we have to go on long trips or anything like that. And last night there was an insane storm that we had to drive through. The raindrops were heavy, I guess you could say. They were big, they were giant ass raindrops. And it was foggy because it was so hot, the rain was like making it fog and shit. And he honestly deserves a medal because I wouldn't have been able to do that. And when I say crazy, you guys don't even understand. Like there was lightning over top of us and every four seconds lightning was striking somewhere. It was fucking unreal. The craziest thing I've ever seen. Like, I don't know if it storms like this when we sleep because obviously I'm not awake when it storms during the night, but it was one of the craziest things I think I've seen when it comes to storms. He was literally clenching the steering wheel so hard. He has like calluses on his hands. So honestly, huge shout out to Nathan for getting us home safe last night and yeah it was honestly really late in the night as well i told him that i would have stopped and he should have stopped on the side of the road because that's how bad the storm was and it was dark and it was honestly just a scary drive home for him and for me too i didn't want him to crash or whatever so honestly shout out to nathan for being good at driving <laughs> i honestly would have pulled over so he has some fucking nuts to keep going through that 
anyway guys hopefully you did enjoy this short video i will be having my k days video hopefully come out tomorrow at seven o'clock my usual upload time so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you drop a like and thank you again for all the support on my recent videos i really do appreciate it from the bottom of my freaking heart thank you guys so much and i hope you have a good day this life it was destiny god tested me to find the best of me and i know i'm gonna make it even without a degree because the test scores don't mean shit to me and when you said that i would feel it didn't get to me